Hey, it's your favorite science teacher. Um, good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, good morning or good afternoon. Uh, what you're going to do today is I have a review sheet that you're going to complete and it's going to count as a mini test grade or half of a mini test grade. The other half is we're going to have the test on this portion on Monday-ish. I think that's what I'm planning on Monday, the latest Tuesday, but planning on Monday. All right. And if you can do this sheet, you will do well on the mini test. Um, so uh, let me share my screen and show you what we're doing. All right, and let me pause the video for a quick second here. All right, so you're going to, if you look at Schoology, you don't have to go to Schoology. You can do this without Schoology. Um, but again, you get this. I have it listed under Schoology, so let me show you it. All right, and so under Lesson 2 under Forces, you're going to see it says complete the review questions and there you are right here and it says chapter three study guide all right and when you open this up boom there is the study guide all right and it starts off with say blank is a push or pull in a certain direction this color this uh, blank causes acceleration calls accelerations and it says it's in chapter three section one and so I'm going to share with you my, uh, I'm going to share my document cam. All right. And so you can see this. Okay. All right. And um, let me see. Come over here. Go faster. There you go. Um, yes. Are you going to help me or are you not going to do it? I need you to help me. It's not one to work. Let's try it one more time. Let's see if I can get it one more time. All right. All right. So you're going to get a sheet. You're going to get this. We get this lab sheet right here. And so you ain't read. We just read that question. And when we read the question, so we could read, it says, what are the force? And I can look in chapter three, section one. It says 3.1. That means it's in chapter three, section one. So I look over here. I open my textbook. Here it says, this is chapter three. And this is section one. And then I look over here and I can find my answer. Again, another place, uh, even a better place, if you ask me, is you can look in your notes. Uh, your notes would be a great place to look for these answers because, I, again, I usually make it based off of what I've taught. Uh, and so just wanted to give you a heads up on how to do this and do it well. And, and I would encourage you also to do this, to read the question before you go look. So, again, read the question. Forces are what type of quantities, vector quantities or scalar quantities? Circle the correct answer. This means they have a blank. And so I can look in my notes or I can look in here or even use Google. I think Google is an excellent source, all right? And so that's what I would tell you. And it kind of helps you know what to look for. Maybe even let read two questions there. The SI unit for force is the blank. One blank equals one kilogram meter per second squared, all right? And so that's what we're trying to emphasize. So this will count as a mini test grade, all right? And I will probably can't do, I'm gonna do the other half of this test grade is going to be, um, is you'll have some a written tests actually. And so I'm gonna combine them two and make them one. So this can be a really easy test grade. If you're doing your best and getting able to get as many as you can done and you're focused, you're not talking too much and that type of deal. All right, so with that said, I just wanted to say, hey, I hope you have a good day and I will see you probably, I my plan to see you Monday and stuff. So, um, all right. All right, see ya.